Hi, Dr. Henderson. Going over today a cystoscopy and meatotomy. Sometimes these can be done in the office, but most of the time we do it in the operating room. What happens is we do the cystoscopy, which is just camera looking inside through the urethra, looking to make sure there's no other scarring anywhere else, making sure we don't find bladder tumors or stones or any other type of obstruction. And so it's really just a method where we look inside the bladder to look around and make sure we're not missing something. And the more important thing that we're going to focus on is meatotomy. What that means is you have your meatus, which is actually the tip of the penis, um, where you are peeing out of, and sometimes that can scar down, and that hole can be really, really small. So just like on a hose, when we want things to shoot farther, we put our thumb over it, it increases the pressure, and then the stream's smaller, but it's a lot more pressure behind it. That happens to boys and men as well. Ways that we can take care of that is we can just do a simple dilation, um, but sometimes that scar tissue will recur, and when the scar tissue recurs, then we have to think of other methods on how to take care of it. Um, one of these ways is called a meatotomy. We actually clamp the webbing of tissue or the scar tissue that's there, and once we clamp this and hold it for about three minutes, it crushes the tissue, helps stop the blood flow going in that tissue, and we can just cut the tissue and it opens up that tip or the opening much more so it's easier to go to the bathroom or urinate. Occasionally we'll put little sutures near the bottom if we feel like it's just going to scar back up. And this is to hold it open to try to prevent it from scarring back up. And we tend to try to open the hole about twice as big as we want it because we already know it will scar back down a little bit. It's a very simple procedure. We usually do what's called a penile nerve block so that everything's numb once you get the procedure done so that you don't feel it after we do the procedure and things to expect afterwards. The biggest complication is that it's just going to come back or recur and we'd have to do it again or we can teach you how to do self-dilation with dilators that you can buy online for $20. But other than that, the only other complication or things I get patients complaining about sometimes is having some burning with urination during those first couple days until things kind of calm down. There's not a ton of bleeding associated with this. That's also a potential complication, but really the complications and risk from this procedure are very small. It's a very good procedure procedure and when it works where you don't get the scarring coming back, it's highly effective and efficient. So I look forward to taking care of you. If there's further questions that you have, please remember those and bring them to talk and discuss further uh, before the surgery, before we do the procedure. Thank you.